stuff that I collect as I see it, and um, I have very good eyes, so nothing really escapes my my gaze. And anywhere I go, I'm, I'm eyeballing stuff. So I'm, in a way, I'm a hoarder. But if this is 40 years of hoarding, I'm probably not too bad off. I don't know if that's a climbing hook or what, but you had to come home with me at some point. Partial Last Supper. You can see what I mean. It's all, it's junk really, but uh, when I sit down to create something, um, it's nice to have all this junk to, uh, to work from, you know? I mean, there's... I could come up with an idea with just this handful of stuff here, uh, probably three or four. And I got a very patient wife, so that helps out a lot. Uh, when when we first met, um, I didn't have this garage, so my house was. definitely a part of um, my artistic process. Uh, I got a lot of woodworking tools uh, along those lines. So um, the other major part of my uh, art is the, um, the use of found items. I'm, uh, I'm the original green artist. I, I recycle by all means. If you've seen this book or not, but um, I mean this stuff it was always captivating to me, you know, as, as soon as they started putting art on skateboards, uh, you know, I was fascinated, so, um, you know, where, where else could you see so many skulls and, uh, you know, blood and bizarre imagery, and, uh, and it just really spoke to me, so, um, when I got this garage, uh, I think maybe in the back of my mind I'd always wanted to paint this big on a wall, so uh, I just had to do it. Mm -hmm. 